Some rather troubling rumblings are coming from the world of HoloLens, as the Israeli news website Ynet has reported that Microsoft Israel fired 60 engineers working on HoloLens, and that the company will be continuing development with, on the HoloLens with different tech from the US. Now this article was actually spotted by the NeoGAF user MD, and basically roughly translated it. Now. As with anything that's unconfirmed, do take this with a pinch of salt, doubly so because it was in another language that's been roughly translated. Often things are lost in translation, so do keep that in mind. So, the article mentions that Microsoft Israel abruptly decided to stop the project that the Israeli team was working on, and this team consisted of about 60 people. 30 of them were permanent employees, which are being given a month to find a new job within Microsoft. The other 30 were contracted workers who were just fired right off the bat. Now, according to Ynet, this group of people was working on the HoloLens for the past two and a half years based on technology of a company that Microsoft actually bought back in Israel six years ago. Now, according to this information, Microsoft will now be stopping the project and continue development on the HoloLens through a different technology produced in the US. Now, Microsoft Israel apparently also provided a statement following Ynet's report, basically said that they made decisions that affect a number of jobs and basically said that they are increasing investments in certain areas while investments in others are being reduced and as such there is a reduction in jobs across the organisation. Now, the user who spotted this did stress, as he was right to do so, that it's really unclear whether or not this is for the whole HoloLens project or just a certain aspect of it. Now, this article could be wrong, it could be mistranslated, or even if it's been correctly interpreted, because it is a Google Translate job and we all know how unreliable that can be at times, we don't know how much this affects HoloLens, if at all. It could affect it a lot, it could affect it a little, or it could affect it not at all. Until Microsoft comes out with a statement, we don't know, but it's still interesting to see. Will this just be a simple thing of production? Perhaps it's better to produce on a mass scale this technology that the HoloLens actually uses. Given that we don't know what this technology is, it could be hardware, software, literally could be anything. It could be something in the headset itself that perhaps is better to produce in the US. So it could be a good thing that they've done this, I mean, for the consumer, not for the people who have been fired. That's That's got to suck big time. So we just don't know. It's all kind of wrapped around a mystery, but there's definitely something big happening in the world of HoloLens. Hopefully this won't affect the device. I'm still not 100% sure on the uses of HoloLens in gaming. I mean, it looks pretty damn impressive, don't get me wrong. My jaw pretty much hit the floor when we saw it at E3. But the concerns about FOV and its usefulness in gaming and outside of gaming is definitely valid concerns, but I still want to see it come out without a hefty delay because, well, Everyone's going in the VR direction and Microsoft are going in the augmented reality direction and I want to see what they've got planned. It's really interesting to me and I'm curious to see what they've got planned so hopefully this doesn't mean any big upsets for HoloLens. I doubt Microsoft would do something like this if it would mean a significant delay but perhaps the situation just called for it. We just don't know. Regardless of all that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.